I hear footsteps at sea. Yep, he's right there. I'm not going to engage just yet. If I were to engage, I think he would have been able to kill me. You really got to wait for your opportunity. Don't engage right away. You want to get a clear shot. Today we're going to be using the MP5. The specific MP5 class setup that I want to showcase today is this suppressor class setup right here. Now this attachment just changes everything on it. It gives you a pro of sound suppression, no visible tracers, aim down side speed, and no enemy skulls. It helps you stay as stealthy as possible. And as a stealthy player myself, I love to flank. I love to outsmart the enemy and stay as hidden as possible. Then moving on to stock, we're using the FTAC collapsible. This one will give you a pro of movement speed and aim down side speed as well. We don't have to worry about aiming stability or recoil control as long as you keep your engagements up close and personal that's really not going to be a factor at all now for my perk i'm using sleight of hand this perk will help us reload a lot faster especially when we're under pressure you're going to see that later on in the gameplay of why sleight of hand really works well with this stealthy rusher type of setup for rear grip we're using stippled grip tape this will help us aim down side speed faster as well as our spirit to fire speed so this is going to be important in those 1v1 situations where you fire your weapon after coming from a sprint we're going to be playing a little bit aggressive here as well as sneaky we're going to try to outsmart as much as possible then for ammunition this is also a game changer as well it gives you a damage pro as well as more range i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always drop a like if you do enjoy it and you find the video informational at all and subscribe if you're new around here for more of these live gameplays so yeah guys i will see you guys in the video peace I'm just going to be talking through step by step my decision making and I know decision making is a very crucial aspect of modern warfare multiplayer so we're playing some domination here on Ramaza which is one of my favorite maps I know the map really well just be warned you know it's not going to be a perfect gameplay but if you guys can just get inside of my thought process and understand why I'm doing what I'm doing maybe it'll help you improve as well so I see this guy's footprints literally going to follow it See where he's at. He's right there. He's at A. Got him. Ooh, right behind me. When you're dying, don't get discouraged. See it as a learning opportunity to do better. Learn from your mistakes. Should be another one here. There he is. See how I kind of like ducked down a little bit so he would have a harder time to hit me. Okay, so I've got my dead silence now. I'm going to use it. I'll make my way there. I hear his footprints. Or footsteps, I mean. He's right below me. Heard his footprints. Or ah, I heard his foot by. steps. I'm going to pre-aim here because this is where they're spawning in from. They have that C flag. There he is. <laughs> Got a hit marker on him. Got him. Notice how I used my C4 and utilized it to my advantage right there. So... I would capture B, but there's not enough of my teammates around to help me. We're just going to capture C. Let me take a peek here real quick. We're clear. You always want to make sure the vicinity is clear before you do something like capture a flag. It's always a good measure to do that. So as you can see, instead of crossing right through that middle in that area right there, I decided to take the outskirts of the middle of the map for a safer advance. So I want to push a little bit more into their spawn. See him one right there. Ooh, yep, he got he got me hit. I'm actually gonna go down here. I don't need to use my stim shot. I'm still safe. Okay, they're capturing C right now. They've got C. Ooh, that was a nice little flank by this guy right here. Yeah, let's watch this. They're coming. All those explosives, man. Let me take a peek right here. Wait, I hear footsteps at sea. Yep, he's right there. I'm not going to engage just yet. If I were to engage, I think he would have been able to kill me. You really got to wait for your opportunity. Don't engage right away. You want to get a clear shot. So I'm able to run freely here because I see a lot of my teammates on the minimap. Okay, let me clear this room here. Nothing here. Enemy care package 
Package inbound. Right below me. He is right below me. He's right here. Not engaging till I got a clear shot. Oh, I saw him last second right there. Okay, so now we've got two of the flags. That's what we want, right? Take out that guy watching over B. Okay, I'm being shot here. Steer clear of that cluster strike. Now, I'm going to try to get to the middle area so I can watch over B so that they can't capture it. I'm going to do so by, you know, taking the outskirts. I'm going to reload real quick. I'm always gonna assume they've got an end. Uh, they've got a teammate around, so I'm gonna go here. Pre-aiming. Nothing at B. I'm gonna pre-aim their spawn. That's where they're spawning in from. I see him pinging right here. He's down there. He's trying to take mid. He's gonna be. He's gonna be appearing right here. Okay, teammate took him out. There's another one. I could actually just flank this guy. I'm not going to yet. Teammates got a very good position right here to pinch these guys. Take that scavenger pack. I'm always keeping an eye on my ammo. Okay, I'm going up. Looks like they're trying to capture B. Let me throw this C4. Nothing. Okay, so unfortunately they got B. Let me watch our back here. Could be spawning in. I'm actually low on ammo. Pick up this P90. I'm gonna stick to my MP5 though. Pre-aiming. Got him. Put on my dead talents. I'm gonna avoid the middle. Stick it to the outskirts here. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to keep my engagements like really close. Oh, yeah, he sees me. He sees me. I'm dead. I'm getting out of here. Oh! I heard his footprints. I mean footsteps. Why do I keep saying that? So I'm going to expect him to come back out here and try to kill me. Let me help team it out. I'm going to go over to B. See him right there. He's underneath B. One up there at the window. Maybe I can try to flank this guy. Got him. Yep, he don't want it. He don't want it. I've been spotted. He's probably at construction. Yep, he's up top. Very top of construction. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to compete from that range. Remember, we're trying to keep our engagements up close and personal. Somebody's trying to flank at A. I'm going to help out teammate. Got him. I didn't get a clear shot. I don't want to engage just yet. He's hurt. Throw a C4 in here. They see me. There he is. I'm on my 13. Oh, that's a teammate. Throw a C4 up in there. C4 cheese, baby. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Now we use a stim shot. We're in a pretty hot spot right now. Put on my dead sounds. He needs my help at A. Got him. Got him. I want a 17 right now. Okay, I'm going to... Pre-aim down here. Easy kill. So they're at B right now. Okay, I'm going to make a move to go to the middle of the rooftop here. They're at A. Someone's right below us. I see him on that mini-map. I'm going to drop down here. Got him at A. I'm on a 19 right now. This is crazy. Okay, I think it's safe to say we won this game. I'm going to C right now. Woo, man, that was a great match. 31 kills, 4 deaths with 6 captures, 8 defends, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned something. Okay, that's helpful. Should be another one here. I'm pushing. I got my dead silence on. Nice. Oh, I'm going to die. Yep, yep. Got a nice little feed, though. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to keep moving this way. We really, we really got to capture another flag. This guy's just giving away his position. I see his footprints. He's inside here somewhere. There he is. I'm going to try to attack from the outskirts. Put on my dead sounds. They call it a UAV, but I'm not worried at all. Got on ghost here. Teammate's trying to capture B. He's a brave soul. 
I think he's got it. I'll, I'll watch his back. Good job, teammate. Teammate just died here. Well, he ran right by me. Okay, we got specialist achieved. Nice little double. I think I'm going to push. I'm going to push here. I'm on a 12. Okay, I got a hit marker on that guy. We're on 14. Guys, you guys got to capture C. Guess I'm just going to have to do everything here. Is there another one? Oh, that's it. I'm on 15 right now. If I capture this, I'm dying off of my streak. I know that for sure. Yup. Yup. He's on me. He's on me. Okay, the UAV is definitely helpful. I'll make my way into here. Yeah, this match is pretty much over, but you know. Not really much we can do about it. We're on a 16 right now, though. Pretty cool stuff for us. Yo, I'm on an 18. Enemy at the rug shop. I think it would be very smart for us to capture B. But my teammates don't want to do it. I'm on a 20 right now. Yeah, it's pretty much over. And, you know, we, we did what we could, man. Like, our teammates weren't the best. Oh, I actually had the most captures on our team. You know, this is just all about learning how to adapt to the situations that are given to you, you know, just because you die a couple times. It doesn't mean you got to be discouraged. You always just got to try to go back to the drawing board. We finished with 25 kills, three deaths. Not bad. Uh, using the MP5 here. But, yeah, like I was saying, just... Try to assess the situation. Be fully aware of your surroundings, uh, the positioning of your teammates on the actual map, as well as the mini map, because that will tell you where you need to go in order to stay alive a lot longer and get easier kills. I hope this video helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form. If you want to see more of these live gameplays where I just talk through my decisions, like what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, uh, let me know down below in the comments and definitely leave a like so I know that you guys really want to see this stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. Peace.